Key to love number 55. What does it mean to nurture and deepen a meaningful love relationship? Hello and welcome to How to Love. Follow these weekly instructions and you will soon be on your way to manifesting deep and meaningful love into your life. Hi, I'm Selena Stone, a Master Life Coach, and I will be presenting to you each week with a new key that opens the door to love. These wisdoms and teachings that I'm sharing with you were passed on to me by my mentor and teacher, David Essel, who has over 30 years experience and a high success rate amongst his clients. So, what does it mean to deepen and nurture a meaningful love relationship? What does it mean to nurture? Write the words down, slow down. Walking in with an open heart. It means to go out of your way for your partner's needs. Go ahead and Google it, the definition of this. Nurturing means to embrace the love relationship. To nurture when we are talking about walking in with open hearts, open minds, open arms, all of these concepts of nurturing is what we want to start filling our minds with to bring it into our physical world and make it our reality. If a mother nurtures her child in a certain way, a lover in a certain way, their trait of nurturing may be patient. You may have to be highly focused on that concept. Patience. Nurturing means patience. Some people may say, I've not got the nurturing gene. To that I say, you're not ready for a deep and meaningful love relationship. This is not a gene. This is something you can learn. People can learn to be patient, learn to be vulnerable. Nurturing means that you are vulnerable. Being nurturing in a love relationship means taking risks. Nurturing means being silent. Sometimes just being silent and sitting with your partner's feelings, that's nurturing instead of giving advice, saying everything's going to be okay, everything will work, work out when it's not okay in that moment. Allow them to feel. Nurture them by being silent. Silence in a relationship is a lost art in our society when somebody's angry or upset, mad. We have a tendency to strike back, fight back, and make excuses when they just need to be angry. If someone is sad, instead of allowing them to be sad, we tell them it's going to get better. Being silent, sitting with your partner, whether you're in a relationship or it's your next one, is a good nurturing trait. Well, that's all we have time for today. I look forward to your tuning in next week. In the meantime, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when the next session is aired together. We can stay on track to creating a deep and meaningful love into your life and that's the reason I'm here. And if you'd like me to personally coach you, inspire and motivate, then please feel free to contact me via my website selinastone.com. Until next week, as always, be lucky.